In this video, I'll go over the various ways you can configure your hard drives into storage pools and volumes with Storage Manager. Note that I'll be using a DS220 Plus, which is a two-bay NAS with two drives installed as I run through the various storage setup options. But even if you have a Synology NAS with more drives, you should be able to translate the information presented to your NAS. Also, the DS220 Plus that I'll be working with doesn't have any storage pools or volume set up, so there isn't a risk of data loss which allows me to destroy the storage pools and volumes as I go through the video. If you plan to make any changes to your storage pools and volumes, make sure to back up your data if you already have content you would like to save. To start configuring storage pools, I'll need to bring up Storage Manager from the main menu. And because no storage pools or volumes have been set up, as I mentioned earlier, the storage creation wizard starts up automatically. From here, I'll click Start, which brings me to this Configure Storage Pool property window. This is where I'll be able to choose the RAID type I would like to use for my storage pool. When I click on the RAID type drop-down menu on my NAS, I'll find the various options that are available to configure the two drives that are installed. If you have a NAS with more drives installed, the options presented will be slightly different, as you can see from this Synology Knowledge Base article, which I'll link to in the description below. For example, my DS220 Plus can't support RAID 5 because RAID 5 requires three or more drives, so that option isn't listed in the RAID type drop-down menu that we were looking at earlier. Now I'll go over setting up some of the various RAID options and I'll start with SHR or Synology Hybrid RAID. SHR requires a minimum of one drive and can provide one drive fault tolerance if two drives are added to the storage pool. This is also the recommended RAID type for beginners because SHR is optimized by the system, as you'll see shortly. I'll click Next, then select Drive 1 to be able to create an SHR storage pool. Under Drive Check, I'd recommend performing a drive check, but I'll skip this for now because my setup is just for demonstration purposes. For allocated volume capacity, I'll click on the Max option to allocate the entire capacity to the volume. For file system, I'll keep BTRFS selected because of the advanced features the file system provides. I'll click Apply on this Confirm Settings window, then OK on this pop-up window, confirming that I'm fine erasing any data on the drive. Now we are back at the storage pool listing, and we can see the details of the setup. The RAID type is SHR without data protection because it is only using one drive. But because of the automated optimizing that SHR provides, if I add the second drive that the DS220 Plus has installed to the SHR storage pool by going to this menu here and selecting Add Drive, then run through the setup steps, we can see the SHR storage pool dynamically changed to have data protection with one drive fault tolerance. If we look at the knowledge base article once again, we can see that as more drives are added to an SHR storage pool, the number of fault tolerant drives increases automatically as well. I just did a factory reset of my DS220 Plus, which destroyed the SHR storage pool, and I'm back at the storage creation wizard once again, where I'll click start to continue. I'll bring up the read type menu once again, and I'll select the next available option, which is read one. In this setup, data is mirrored between the drives, which provides one drive fault tolerance, so a single drive could fail without data loss. I won't go through the process of setting up RAID 1 because the setup is straightforward, and I'll go on and select the next RAID type, which is BASIC. BASIC storage pools consist of only one drive, and I'll go ahead and set things up like I did the OneDrive SHR storage pool earlier. Here we can see the details of the basic storage pool, which has no data protection. A nice feature of a basic storage pool is that it allows you to change RAID types to RAID 1 or RAID 5, although 
I'm only able to change my setup to RAID 1 because of the 2 drive limit of my DS220+. Plus. I'll go ahead and make the change to a RAID 1 setup by adding the second drive to the storage pool. And when done, we can see the new configuration from the storage pool window where the basic storage pool has been reconfigured to RAID 1, which now has data protection. I once again did a factory reset of my DS220 Plus, and I have the storage creation wizard up and running. I'll click start and look at the last two RAID types that are available. I'll skip JBOD for now and select RAID 0. Here we can see that RAID 0 requires a minimum of two drives and provides no fault tolerance, so if a drive fails, all data will be lost. What RAID 0 does offer is more storage where the total capacity will be the sum of the two drives. I won't go through setting up RAID 0 because the setup is straightforward, like RAID 1 earlier, and I'll next select JBOD. JBOD requires just one drive to start, and I'll set up the storage pool with just one drive for now and complete the setup of the storage pool and volume. Once set up, we can see the JBOD storage pool details. If I'd like to increase the storage pool capacity, I could add the second drive to the pool, which I'll do now by selecting Add Drive and running through the Add Drive wizard. Once the setup is completed, we can see the increased capacity of the pool, which combined the capacity of the two drives, like a RAID 0 setup. Remember, if you plan to set up your storage pools with either RAID 0 or JBOD, make sure to have some sort of backup strategy for your data, because if any of your drives fail, all of your data will be lost. And if you want to learn more about storage pools and volumes, along with SHR and BTRFS, check out this video listed here on screen. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.